In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find the domain of a logarithmic function. Uh, when you're given a logarithmic function or a logarithmic expression, there's a couple things that have to be true. First, the value of the argument and the base must be positive. So A must be positive and B must be positive. So in order for a logarithm to be evaluated, the base and argument must be greater than or equal to zero. We can't have negative values or zero in the either the argument or the base. Um, and that's going to play an important role, a key role in trying to find the domain of these logarithmic functions. Because if our variable is in either position, we have to figure out what makes them zero and use that value as potential restrictions for our function. So let's take a look at finding the domain of a logarithmic function. So in this problem, we're given the function g of x equals the natural log of x minus 1. And we want to find its domain. So if you recall, ln or the natural log is just another way of saying it's a log with the natural base or log base e of the quantity x minus 1. Um, e is a positive number it's about 2.7 something so we have no problems with our base but we have to figure out what makes the argument of this log negative right so we know that x minus 1 must be positive it must be greater than 0 so add 1 to both sides and we get that x must be greater than 1 so this, these values of x are going to ensure that our logarithm has a positive argument. Um, and those are the only values of x that we can use in this function. So our domain for this function is restricted to be uh, from the values of 1 and then all the way off to infinity. So that's our domain.